welcome to Tuk's Water Guidance Career Coaching. Here is where I answer questions in regards to anything from filling out an application all the way to landing the job, interviewing, and how to get promoted. A couple of guys ask me questions in regards to their age. For those of you who don't know, I am a military spouse, so I deal a lot with military. And lately, I've had some interactions with some guys who have retired from the military and they're concerned about their age and they're concerned about being able to find a job or another job in their on what we call the encore career and they're thinking that the millennials or the younger people will be more qualified than they are and so what I told these guys is that what we do is we can work on their resume to highlight the skills that they had from the military. Both of these guys retired. They were in for several years. Actually, one guy was in for closer to 20 years and the other guy, he was in closer to four or five years. But there's, there's a big difference, but they still both attained a ton of skills that they can transfer over to the civilian world. And so what I told them to do is align some keywords in their resumes with keywords in the actual job description. And for every job that you plan to apply for, you should be doing a new resume. It's a lot of work, but think about it. It's worth it in the end if it helps you land a job rather than being unemployed. It depends on your situation, obviously. And so what you'll have to do is skillfully take keywords from what you did. Let's say, for example, one guy, he was a captain in the army. And so right there, he was over a group of people. And so there he has supervisory skills. He has managerial skills. And it shows that he has leadership skills because he was over at least 10 people. I, I don't recall how many they have in their departments, but he was over a number of people. And what you do is according to the job description, you tailor that to fit you tell your leadership skills that you required and you put that in a quantifiable form or description on your resume. So let's say that this particular former military army captain had 10 people on his team and are in his department. And what he would say in, or in regards to the job ad is that he led a team of 10 he would state the goal and he would state the ending result. And you always make it look positive. You always make sure that you have numbers in your descriptions when you're doing your resumes and also put in the results that you attain. And it, it should be positive, right? It'll be positive results. That's a way to show that your skills from the military, how they translate over to the civilian world. And you don't have to worry about age. I wouldn't worry about age. Just make sure that you have a knockout resume. You can hire a resume writer. I review resumes. And I do know some people who can do your resume from scratch. But you can give yourself a leg up on the competition of the the younger workers by having a, a knockout resume and tailoring it specifically to the job that you're applying for so that you look like a perfect match for the company. And in another video, I'll talk to you more about showing or conveying how you fit into the company culture because that's also very important. Once you get your foot in the door, the resume helps you land the interview, but once you get in the interview, you have to show them in a little bit more detail how you fit into their company culture because, yeah, you look good on paper, but they need someone who has the personality that will fit into their company culture and, and 
help to get things done and meet their company's mission and vision. Okay. So again, I hope this helps. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to drop me a line. I'm always happy to hear from people. Thank you.